fade and fire. Blackshear Jr. spits off the cylinder, taken away by Wilkins. Blackshear Jr., a smooth dunk that time. Four on the shot clock. Blackshear will try a three. He's got it. We'll go to Blackshear. Double team and puts it in. Blackshear a smile on his face as he races across half court. Blackshear kicks out Beatty for three. That's good. Well, Bisa Beatty got a trap and still rotated back and kept the Hokies from getting a layup. What a looping pass, and P.J. Horn corralled it for the layup. 4% free throw shooter, and he leads the team in assists too. Kind of a combo kind of guy, but a really good player. Alexander Walker converts on the first three of the day for the Hokies. He's a guy that brings a defensive presence for the Hokies. He's a really good on-ball defender. Good block by Blackshear. Applewhite. Pulls the trigger as the shot clock was winding down, and Blackshear came up with another board. He's have managed to be really aggressive on the defensive end without fouling. Only three fouls committed, despite the fact that they've been really aggressive. There you see him forcing another turnover and getting out in transition. A kick out to Cabongo. Outlaws wide open. Bang. Blackshear. Step back three, count it. Half, and Kerry Blackshear Jr. nailing a double-double to get the Hokies up big. Ball to the high post. You can make all kind of things happen once you get the ball to the high post. Blackshear backs in for two. They withstood that, that furious defense early. By the backwards pass, but Blackshear got in the way. Down the floor for Robinson. Blackshear Jr. scoops, scores, and the foul. Folks that predict things like that are very good. Tense moments in the final eight. Blackshear Jr. makes it 43. Virginia Tech starts with the ball, and Robinson passed out the shot inside. Blackshear will go to work on Durham, who has four blocks, and Blackshear draws the foul, Durham's third. Plus a basket. It was critical, you could tell, from Virginia Tech. They want to establish Blackshear in that matchup versus Durham. Keep it stranglehold at a top 10 spot. Oh, great find by Robinson. Blackshear flies in for the two ahead flush. It's waiting to play. Good distribution from Robinson. Robinson, so good. A much better defender than last year. Popovich tipped it, but it finds Blackshear. He's got a chance for three. Doing a good job of being able to realize that he's got a smaller guy on him. Usually averages 13, but the Hokies are rolling. Robinson look for the foul. Oh, Blackshear just took it and slammed it home. A lot of times you want to try to get those 50-50 balls that last time. Blackshear being able to come up and get that ball. You run for that ball. You hustle hard. You see the bench over there flexing. Expecting for the shooting of Alvarado as well as Michael DeVoe to start the skyrocket up. It's Blackshear and one. Coming up on the final half minute. Blackshear with Banks defending got the basket. Tough shot to Gary Blackshear Jr. Gary Blackshear attacking the paint. And James Banks does a great job staying vertical, but Blackshear, the acrobatic look. For Wake on Tuesday. And Wake Forest in that zone defense. Tough shot from Blackshear. He calculates the angle. Tense at the three-point play. Generally, he doesn't get much pressure coming down from the top because nobody wants to go and help out on him. Your offense has deserted you. You don't want to let the Hokies get on a little run here. Black Shear over the shoulder. More uh, students the chance to play basketball for North Carolina. And they play against prep schools, they play some other places that JV teams. And what a great move by Kerry Blackshear from all the way in the corner. Baseline this easily. No, that's true. They, they do a great job of coming over from the weak side. Used to be known as a traveler. <laughs> <laughs> Alexander Walker, nice hands. Blackshear the dunk. Not just college, so I think I heard you advocate maybe we should get basketball officials flags. Yeah, give them flags. Just throw the flag and then say foul number 12 in white. 
That'll be the end of it. Mm -hmm. All the demonstrations. 15 straight wins over Virginia Tech, dating back to 1991. Cunningham swung by Blackshear. Well, Kristen Cunningham was probing, probing, probing. Well, that's a good way to come out of a timeout. Layup off the nice feet. Outlaw's got his first two. Jump ball possession, which leads to two points on the end for Virginia Tech. Another takeaway. Beatty again to Hill. When you got a call, million dollar move, 10 cent shot. Beautiful, <laughs> beautiful drive by Shelton Mitchell. Just unable to finish it. Well, I tell you what, the skill set of the offensive end for Kerry Blackshear really can take your breath away. You think about the drop that Virginia Tech is in. They've been in one since the 13-36 mark. Their first hoop since then, right there by Blackshear. Yeah, great job by Blackshear to get position in the zone, and then the Georgia Blackshear generally gets a lot of room to operate. Loose ball, show them in traffic. Another turnover. What a pass. Alexander Walker, yes and one. Just Sholin needs to pick up the basketball and stop dribbling in a crowd. What a pass by Blackshear. Just as much as anyone in the league, but you have to take advantage of these opportunities. Blackshear. Right up and in. Blackshear on the double. And Outlaw will lay it in. Good defense by Jack Salt to take away the shot and the drive. Crowd counting down the shot clock, and Blackshear picking up right where he left off in their win at Pittsburgh on Saturday. That was a big shot that Ty Jerome hit as well. They are smothering Jerome, and they force a turnover with the double team. Fifth for UVA. Here comes the scramble, got the trap when he picked the ball up, and Blackshear got a hand on it to deflect it. And then a terrific job on the other end by Nikhil Alexander. Hard time making some of their open shots from three-point range. Another wide open shot. It's been the screener that has been open. Guy, they defended the three well. He tried to jam it inside. With some unusual decisions. Cabongo! Blackshear keeps his pivot foot, gets into the paint, and another wow. foul drawn. That is so well done. RJ might prefer to call it a pass and give him another assist. He had three assists in the first four buckets of Duke had. Blackshear. Folks, watch number 24 and White here. See all this action that's taking place off of him? And now all of a sudden, the big has to step off and help. This time, he just makes a move, creates a little space, and able to knock that shot down. Marquise Bolden starting the second half for Duke. Blackshear drives and kisses it off the window. Blackshear, number 24, and White here at 6'10", gives a little shot flake to get to here in the air. Doing the missed opportunity from their leading scorer. Blackshear, oh, put a move on Reddish! Leads this Hokie team in scoring. Well, Blackshear does a lot of pick and pop now he likes the fade screen and good job by finding outlaw their best three-point shooter in the corner maji the seven foot four senior for leonard hamilton's club in a long time a little wheel route by mckeel alexander walker and he's got eight look at carrie blackshear he assesses this option right here and he knows that pj savoy is trailing the play odd to see likes give that up when he had a mismatch with the largest player on the floor, Blackshear, in front of him. Now Beattie drops it off, and Blackshear slams it home. Virginia Tech has dismantled the zone for Jim Laranega to this point, so Coach Laranega going back to the man-to-man, -man, was tired of seeing the Hokies get easy baskets, and it ends up being another easy basket against the man-to-man. -to -man. Dewan Hernandez ruled ineligible by the NCAA. Well, and not a lot of depth up front for Virginia Tech either. But Blackshear had the much smaller likes on him nearby in this zone. Blackshear off the handoff from Alexander Walker. Bad zone right there. The leagues take him away like the Mac. Good pass. Another one according to Joey Brackett's 
the Atlanta 10 or VCU for that league takes a spot. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. I mean, that, that's the thing where people say, well, these. You assume Indiana's the first one to go back in if they're in that's that position. That's sort of the way it works with Joey Brackets. I like it. Alexander Walker off for Beattie. He's not really a shooter. Shot clock at eight. Blackshear steps in, gets fouled, and scores. Watch the slap down. Blackshear takes his time, makes a move. There's your slap. He keeps his chin on the rim.